Here are five ways to take screenshot in iPhone 16 Pro. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. The first way is we need to click and release both power button and volume up together. So a demonstration in one, two, three, click release. That will take the screenshot. Common mistakes, if you long press these two buttons, it will either wake the assistant or it may end up going into the power menu. If you, you know, don't click both buttons together, then it may sleep the phone or increase the volume. Now, the second way to screenshot on iPhone 16 Pro is we're going to open settings. Then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see accessibility. Then we're going to select touch. We will then scroll to the very bottom and select back tap. We will either choose double tap or triple tap. We will scroll all the way down until we see the screenshot option and we'll tap it to enable it. Now, when you double tap the back of your iPhone twice, so tap tap, it will take a screenshot. I'll try that one more time, tap tap. And there we go, the screenshot is taken. You wanna double tap next to the Apple logo. The double tap does also work if you have a case in your phone. Now, if we head out of the back tap area and we return into touch, the third way to take a screenshot is that instead of using back tap, we will scroll to the top and select the assistive touch option. We will then turn on assistive touch and it will create this little circle that we can move around. And we can tap the circle and then we should see the screenshot option. If not, we can add it on the custom actions and single tap, we'll tap on this one and then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see screenshot and we'll select it. Now, when we tap the button, it should take a screenshot of your iPhone. The fourth way to take a screenshot is return to your home page settings, then scroll all the way down until you see Siri or Apple intelligence in Siri. Inside of this one, we want to make sure that Siri is on. So we're going to tap on talk to Siri and we're going to turn on press side button for Siri. In the newer software, there's an on button right here. Now we long press the power button to wake Siri and then we say, take a screenshot. Once done, Siri is going to take a screenshot of your screen. Now the fifth and final way is we will search for and open up the shortcuts app. We will then tap the plus to create a new shortcut. We will then select search actions. Do we'll search for screen shot and we will tap on take screenshot. We will then tap on search again and we will search for save and we will select the photos icon and it says save here. Then we will make sure that it says save screenshot to recents. We'll tap the arrow and we're going to rename the shortcut to action button screenshot. Once done, tap on done. Then we're going to look for and open settings. We will then scroll all the way down until we see action button. We will then swipe across and look for the shortcut option and then select choose a shortcut. We will then scroll down until we see my shortcuts and we will select the action button screenshot shortcut which we created. Now when we long press the action button this will take a screenshot and that screenshot is going to be saved into your recents. To enter silent mode, if action button takes a screenshot, you just swipe down from the far right hand side of the screen and then tap the bell icon.